Hello everyone and welcome again to the Natural Resources Canada series on urban trees. I'm Ken Farr, I'm a dendrologist with the Canadian Forest Service here at NRCAN and today we're going to be talking about some of the urban trees that are common in the area and that would be useful as trees for planting on properties and in and around spaces in your community. Well, here we are with a tree species that's growing well here in the urban forest, but not necessarily a tree that you'd expect to encounter all that often. So this is an Ohio buckeye. It is a native tree in Canada, but only just. There are some mature trees growing in a forest on Walpole Island in Lake St. Clair in extreme southwest Ontario. The tree you might more often encounter that looks very much like this one and is closely related is what we call a horse chestnut, which is a tree from Europe. This is the native variety thereof, and it makes a very interesting tree. You'll notice it has kind of an unusual leaf pattern. It's what you'd call palmately compound, where there's five leaflets all attached at one point on the leaf stalk itself. And that's uh, sort of unusual. And the leaves are arranged opposite one another, which makes it an easy tree to spot. Very interesting fruit, kind of a capsule, lumpy with, with little spikes on it. Squirrels like them a lot, not all that great uh, as, in, in fact, quite inedible for, for, for us, but makes for an interesting uh, feature, as do the flowers in the spring, kind of a 12 centimeter long panicle of flowers, yellowy green, quite interesting and, and quite uh, ornamental. As a uh, urban tree, it's slow growing, sort of a small tree, not much more than 15 meters tall. So well suited to areas where there's a lot, uh, not a lot of space. And that's fundamental. Uh, you don't want to be planting a large tree in a small place. It takes a long time for a tree to develop. And it's really unfortunate if you find after 15 years that the tree is not going to fit where you planted it. So we're thinking about, and that's what makes this tree a good choice. It's, uh, it's 15 meters and maybe about 10 meters broad as they get older. They prefer moist soil, but as you can see here in an urban area, fairly adaptable. Ohio Buckeye, Aeschylus glabra, uh, a, a slightly more unusual choice for an urban forest. If you like this video, let us know with a thumbs up. Click on the logo below to subscribe to the Simply Science channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload new videos.